Hi everyone, it's Sarah, and today we're going to do a viola review. And also, I'm re <sighs> reveal. Sorry, not review. Um, and also, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to play the E and G string on your viola and uh, violin. So this is my case. I had to put this thing on here because or else nobody would know that it's mine. So I put my initials on it. And you guys don't need to be seeing that. <laughs> so first we're going to get on how to open up this viola or violin. Your cello or bass is going to come not in this case that I have here. So as you guys see, mine has a handle, no latch. So there's zippers that go around right here and stop here, and then they go around and stop right here. So basically, at the bottom there's this little latch that I can close like that. So I just, it's like, like your zipper, not zipper, it's like, um, whatever. But see, there's like a little thing on there, and there's a little thing on here, you can just go like that, it stays like that. So anyway, um, there should be two zippers or latches. Unlock those latches or make sure your zippers go all the way around and then open up your case. As you guys can see, there's two things here. You could actually have two bows. Mine came with only one, which that's okay. Turn your thing clockwise to get it out. Easily, slowly get your bow out. Hold it before you rosin it on the gold metal part. So if you just go like this, but if you just go like this, your strings are gonna come undone. If you guys don't also tighten your string, then it was gonna be a disaster. In this pocket right here, you can open it, and there's rosin in it. Get that rosin out and start rosining your bow. Easy rubs on your instrument. Make sure you do not touch your bow only with the rosin only. Do not touch your bow in your hand or anything because oil will come on the bow and then when you when you start trying to play on your violin or viola bass or basses don't have never mind. So there are my violin or viola Obviously, you cannot play anymore because your strings will get all moldy at the bottom. I borrowed mine from the school, so obviously, I know, look at that light right there, I know, but sorry. I'm trying to get in the way of it, so probably a little bit fascinating, but I don't want it in my video. So, let's talk about the side. Whatever. Um, rosin it some more. After you rosin it, carefully set it somewhere so you can put your rosin back in the case. Okay, I don't want it coming out. I'm going to have to put this back in here. I don't want my rosin coming out of there. My rosin is going everywhere in my case right now. Do you guys have any tips for... Um, rosin to stay inside your, your rosin thing, your rosin bag. See, the metal part, it's always going to do this. The metal part is going to be at the bottom. You pull it out and all the rosin is going to be in that. See how it all comes out? I don't like that. But anyway, we're not talking about rosin right now. And now we're going to be talking about how to get out your instrument. I just put in your rosin back in there, sorry guys. Okay, now how to get out your instrument. As you guys see, my instrument is in here. You see this strap that's over? You want to undo that. Now lay your instrument down. I don't want to get in all the case. I have my case upwards. And now slowly pull it out. If you guys are asking why there's rubber bands on it, I did not put those there. Um, I don't want to take them off just in case there's something wrong with this instrument because um, a fifth grader from last year had this instrument. There's some scratches on it. <coughs> scratches on it. But still, 
I like it. It's pretty shiny. Shinier than anybody else's at school. So I'm pretty happy about that. But anyway, now how to hold your instrument. Now you never just want to swing your instrument around like this. You don't want to play with it like, oh my god, look at my instrument, girl. Look at it. it. Don't ever do that. Just trust me. I'm just modeling for you guys because it may fall out of your hand. I got a really tight grip on the neck here, so it's not going to. I could go like this and everything. Look at my instrument. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Do not. I swear to God, you guys will drop it. My hands are sweaty, so I'm not even going to do that anymore. I'm not even going to risk it. So, how to hold your instrument. Hold it by the neck only. Make sure you have a firm and grip tight. And then you just want to turn it upside down and grab it by the, like, see the, like, tuners there? Don't touch those ever. Wait till, wait till your music teacher says that you can. And then go like this and put it on your left side. Make sure it's above your shoulder. That's why they call it a chin rest and shoulder rest because your chin is going to be on it. You're going to be facing this way. Even if you're facing that way, you're still going to be like this. Make sure your body is facing that and right in front of you and then your head's turned. And your um, viola or violin is slightly tilted like that. Slightly. You can't be like this. You got to be like this. And so now let's, um, I'm going to go over how to hold the, um, the string or the bow. Never ever touch the horse hair. Your oil on your hands will get on it and then just don't, don't because it will start molding up. See last year, the person that had this, they already started to kind of mold it up at the bottom. So I'm trying not to touch it as much as possible. I did not do that, trust me. Trust me guys, I would not lie to you guys. Oops. Okay. Anyway, make sure you hold your bow with like your fingers on there and then your thumbs on the back like this. So then when you go, you could go that's the Game of Thrones theme song. I kind of know how to play the first bit of it. I'm still working on it because, duh, I just got this yesterday and I have no clue how to play. I'm watching videos, how to play certain songs and how the chords work and stuff. So this is what I know so far. From a beginner on a violin and viola, I think I'm pretty shallow. I'm pretty okay. Pretty shallow, pretty okay. But, yeah, make sure you don't ever hold your violin like this when you're going. But, not when you're holding your violin, but when you're holding your um bow, this is only when you're rosining it. You just hold it so when you go like, when you go like this to get the rosin on it, or if you guys have like a little tub and you guys go like that, make sure that you are holding it by the gold thing down here because if you don't you're just going like this it's going to break your hair off not your actual hair but the horse hair on the string it's going to break it off completely and you're pretty much screwed if you don't have a second one and that's going to cost you some money on this one to get stringed again and repaired so don't do that <laughs> so now Set your bow down, grab your instrument, hold it by this, turn it around, and right when you get like this, make sure it's on your knee or the floor or whatever, make sure it's supported. Like if you stand up, make sure like your knee's up there so it's holding that. And then like right when you go like this, put it on your knee and then grab it. So now you go like this, put it on your shoulder, and then look that way, and then grab your bow. So this is what I know so far. <laughs>
That's actually how you play the first part of the Game of Thrones theme song. I'm not allowed to watch Game of Thrones, but I once I stumbled across that theme song, I looked it up. Um, I looked it up the TV show called Game of Thrones. Um, I'm like, and then I heard what people were saying about. It. I'm like, I am gonna watch that. So I just stuck with Hunger Games, Hung Hunger Games, which I think might be pretty similar to Game of Thrones. I never watched it, though. I'm not allowed to. So, anyway, I just, the theme song is really catchy. I love it. My dog was like this when I was like, he's like, no. My like, dog is just scared the crap out of me. So. Make sure when you're playing your viola or violin, whatever, put your first finger on the first little tiny tape bar. And the second one is going to go on the second string on your second tape bar. And then your third one's going to go on the third one on your third. And the fourth is always going to stay up. And if you have to, then put it down on there. So your finger should be set up like this. So, that's the basics. I'm not going to play it right now because it sounds a little bit crappy. Uh, I mean, it's okay, but it sounds a little bit crappy. I don't want to get embarrassed on YouTube for it. So, I'm not going to play it. Cody, 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 stop. Use your foot to scratch, not, not to your head. My dog is scratching his freaking back of his head. He's like, like, what are you doing? Use your foot. There you go. Use your foot. Okay. Anyway. Oops. Make sure that tag me in it on Musical.ly if you guys have Musical.ly slash TikTok. Um, and if you don't have that, then post the YouTube video on YouTube, duh, and comment on this video right when you post it, and I will be there as soon as I can, as soon as I get that notification, probably, or even later. You guys are probably going to have to wait because I post, like, four Musical.ly's to ten a day, I know. But, anyway... Let's get back to the viola. <laughs> okay. Oops. I know, I do know how to tune it. <laughs> That's what happens when you go too fast like this. It goes. So.
because do not go below the bridge. Like when you try to play right here, you slip down. You want to go above. I used to play right when I got this yesterday. I always played on the keyboard when I was like, I thought I freaking knew what I was doing. And then when I when I watched a YouTube video, um, I was like. Oh, I started noticing how everybody that I watch was playing like right below the fingerboard and they can't go past the bridge. So that's what I was doing. I just started going like this. Doesn't that sound better than just going like this? Down here. back in the case. Easy. Open the case back up. But first, before you even touch your violin, you want to put the bow. Easily put your violin down or viola down. You can line up on the couch with dud or stone. Stone. <laughs> so turn your um, string like this. And when you're putting your bow back in the box where you're holding it, like this bit where you can twist it to make it uh, and then this bit, this big old fat bit where you put your thumb. Um, this other bit is going to go slide right in. And then you're going to put that like that. Make sure the hair is here, guys. Make sure, the hair. Make sure your hair is like that. Turn your thing like that to lock it in place. So now since you have that, put your viola in next. Or viola and whatever. So, easily set it in there. If you guys have these things like I do where they go over the keys, keys, just lock that in place. Like that. Make sure everything's good. And before you even close it, we'll actually just close it first. Zip it. And then up here, there's also another compartment I could open up. And then there's stuff I could put in there, like a foldable thing that I need. I'm going to get and then there. Then, then I have to put in papers in there, music sheets that I have to get. Yep, we have music sheets and orchestra. I don't know next year in middle school if I'm going to be in band or not. I'm still thinking about it. So mine is also a backpack. If I set it like this, you guys see the straps. I just gotta get it. My orchestra teacher is gonna get it for me. So I could wear it as a backpack because my friend, she's super tiny. She got it fitter perfect. So thank you guys for watching this. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial on how to open it, play the G string, how to set up your fingerboard. And thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Make sure you like and subscribe.